Hello again everyone, as always thank you very much for clicking on one of my videos. Have a quick look at the FXM3, Wolf 4K scope and Bob Death Grip carbon fibre tripod that I'm using just while I give you a quick intro into this. So the weather changed again as it always does in the UK, suddenly glorious. So I grabbed a couple of guns and popped out for a bit of fun and a bit of practice during the day at the woods. And this was just a little bit of uh, fun I had while I was there. So hope you enjoy it, although you won't as much as I did. Thanks for now. Now, sorry, quickly, this is just a quick screenshot of the view through the wolf that you're going to see today. And just to explain, there's no reticle because when I was switching it on and so on, if you press the uh, on off button just very quickly, it switches it from day mode to night mode which I did when I was sort of switching it on, etc. But that changes the resolution to optimise the, the day sort of nighttime image from it. But when you switch it back, it doesn't change the resolution back to whatever your daytime recording was. And so um, it's recorded in a high resolution, which doesn't record the um, reticle on it. But it does make for a much nicer, clearer image through the viewfinder and potentially on the screen here see what you think but yeah that's just to say well there's no reticle on this um on this video through the the scope image today okay i've got myself a little bit of a golf ball fun thing going on here um got the golf ball set up on some posts Recording on the uh, on the wolf. I'm a little bit low on the tripod, but never mind. So let's uh, focus it in a bit. So that one's at 35 yards. That one's at about 45. That one's just over 50. That target is at 50 yards. And then that one's just over 60, about 63. So let's give it a little bit of zoomies. Mm, 2.5 I've gone for. Now that should be dead on for the first one. Of course it is. Next one at about 45. I'm going to hold dead on again. Next one is just over 50. Fifty. I'm still going to hold dead on. Touch high if I could, but I'm a bit wobbly. Oh no, my other one's fallen off. That one bounced right the way back there. That must make a good shot for that golf ball there to make that one fall off, I must have pulled on that pinged the golf ball quite well, is not it? Um, there's another golf ball there, that's it about, where is that one? That must be about 50 yards, that target's it like 50 yards, so let's 
destroy that one there. Ooh, there he goes. Oh, I really wanted to have a go at that. Last golf ball. I thought that might have been in there, but that's a rock. I believe. Might have been a golf ball. I thought that was a rock. There you go, that was a golf ball at about 63 yards, just a few paces over 60 yards at post. And that was bang on. Very little drop with these slugs. HM 30 grain slugs, that is, I'm shooting. Let's go through the target tree. Give it a couple more zoomies to times three. It's not bad since I'm wobbling all over the place and can't see that reticle very well against a black background. Let's try again. I did pull that one a little bit, I didn't want them to pull that trigger then. So at 50 yards, pretty consistent, let's try this one. Zoom in on that. There you go. Zoomed in time six. Now through the scope at time six, that looks really clear and good. I would um, like to see what it says on the recording to see how clear that is on the recording. Hit that target there. Still got a few shots. Should we keep going? Try down there. These don't always show up very well with that black background. Yeah, you can see that's almost bang on. Still got some ammo.